On today's episode, we're making my version of machaca. Wikipedia says machaca is a traditionally dried meat, usually spiced beef or pork, which is rehydrated and used in popular local cuisine, northern Mexico and the southwestern United States. This is the southwestern United States, considering it's San Diego. And I'm Jewish and I'm from Canada, so I don't really know what machaca is. I just know what I call machaca. And we're going to make it today in a, what's it called? In a pressure cooker. Yeah. It's actually a multi-cooker. This does everything. This one will pressure cook. It'll slow cook. It'll make uh, uh, white rice, brown rice. It'll make risotto and yogurt and who knows. And that's not important. What is important is what we're doing. And I have 1.2 pounds of sirloin steak here. First, we're gonna season these sirloin steaks well with salt and pepper on both sides. I always say, get a pepper grinder. I don't care what kind it is, just get one. You'll be glad you did. Watch this move, ready? I thought it would be much, much so it would just cool. drop it. I didn't mean to, <laughs> that was stupid. Okay, but now look, now look what we add, okay? Got like a half an onion here, cut up from something else, and it goes. A couple giant cloves of garlic, in. A little splash of Worcestershire for a little tang, a little hot sauce for a little spice. Some broth, I happen to be using turkey broth because it's, it's what's in my fridge. I think that would be about a cup. And about a cup of green salsa. We put the lid on like this. We go right here. We pressure cook on high and we give it this much time. Oh, come on, come on. We're gonna give it 90 minutes, nine zero. Almost there. Come on. There we go. And then push, start. So with a pressure cooker, what happens is, is it builds pressure. Once it comes to pressure inside, it starts its countdown from the time you put in. So it's probably 10-ish minutes gets the pressure, then it starts counting down from 90 minutes, and then it takes about 15 minutes to release the pressure, or we can do it manually, which is pretty cool, and then we'll take it from there, you're gonna like this. But for you, because I'm in a good mood today, you don't have to wait. All I have to do is this, snap my fingers, and this will be ready. You ready? And look inside and see what you see. And this is, oh my God. I don't know if these are going to even come out without falling apart. Oh, yeah. These are falling apart. Wow. So here's the goal. The goal is this, these sirloin steaks, as soft and delicious and amazingly tender, ready to go into all manner of things, and manner of things today is gonna be, what, Max? Tacos? A little taco kind of thing. Right. My wife, Kelly, who famously hates things like this, when I made this the other night, she was like, uh, could I have another one? So then you go like this, look. Look at how this just falls apart. It just shreds. Oh my God. Right, and it's got some of the green salsa in here. It's got garlic and onion that you're all mixing together now. It's steamy, it's hot, it's pliable, it's soft, it's tender, it's fully delicious. And then, just because you're here and the moment is right, you get some on your fork, and you go, let's try it. And look how, let's just, oh, let's just, oh. Mm. Just look how gorgeous that is. Nice. Mm. Stop it. Just stop it. So you take a tortilla, a, a street taco size flour one. 
and you throw it on the flat griddle. While it's heating, here's what you get. You get a little bit of cheese. I don't have proper Mexican cheese or anything like that right now. I have monster cheese. We're going to take a little pile of this and a tiny bit of oil so nothing sticks too badly. And then some of this. Now we're heating both, obviously. This guy doesn't need too much. And this guy, throw a piece of cheese on that. Let that start to do its thing. We come back over here with our tortilla that's really hot and we put on a little sour cream and then chip some chipotle. Beautiful. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. And then, wow. You ready for that? Just let me tell you, the flavor, the chipotle, the cool sour cream, Oh my God. I have to say, chipotle um, peppers come whole. In this case, this is chipotle paste. If you can buy a chipotle paste someplace, I can't remember where this came from, I apologize, but I don't know. Or take some chipotle peppers and grind them in a little processor or blender. This, one of the simplest, most delicious tacos I've ever had. And let me tell you something, this will reheat ridiculously well over the next couple days. So, make this. Mm. If you don't have a, a pressure cooker, seven hours in a slow cooker, same thing. And if you don't have a slow cooker, probably seven hours at 250 in your oven, in a container that's sealed. Dutch oven thing. All right, thanks for hanging out. Don't eat the same thing all the time. Follow me on social media wherever I am, and thanks for being here. We really appreciate it. See ya.